All right, so Tamanun Nyomchong, better known as Knockout CP Fresh Mart due to his uh, being sponsored by CP Fresh Mart, which is a Thai um, chain of uh, grocery stores, um, outpointed Carlos Buitrago uh, the other day in Thailand in a rematch of a fight that was probably one of the, the more even, more competitive world championship level fights of 2015. Uh, in that fight, I actually had scored a draw. It was a very close fight. It was a good fight um, all the way through. Buitrago was able to s start early. Uh, Neom Chong, a.k.a. Freshmart, was able to come on mid-rounds. And then Buitrago rallied again late. And a, a similar pattern actually happened in the rematch. The key difference, though, being that Neom Chong, a.k.a. Freshmart, was able to set a more frenetic pace early on. Pretty much from the from the second into the third round, he set a very very fast pace. And uh, if you've never seen him fight before, his style is a little bit like an inverted version of Manny Pacquiao, where he's moving side to side, up you know bobbing a lot. He's bobbing a lot, and then he's firing off shots at kind of weird angles and in a way that you can't necessarily time the greatest way unless you really have a good distance and and good timing and are setting up um say like a jab, you know, kind of a check jab. To just you know, pod not necessarily pod out there, but kind of shoot it out there, pop it out there, in order to, to uh, gauge distance and to keep him from just kind of jumping in with his shots, which he'll do. He'll he'll throw two, three, four punch combinations, very very similarly to Pacquiao. The only difference is it's from an orthodox stance. And basically, what he was able to do successfully in the rematch was um, start off doing that earlier, and also by setting a more frenetic pace. The first fight. He was a little bit too stationary, which is exactly what Buitrago wanted from him. You know, he wanted him to be kind of right in front of him so he could time everything. Buitrago fights in a little bit of a um, Philly Shell type defense. He's he's looking to to shoot counters and stand tall while he um, shoots the you know the straight left jab and the straight right hand and, uh, and uppercut behind it. This time, however, Neomchong with all of the bobbing and weaving that he did was able to get Buitrago to give away his height and reach advantage. And catch him come and actually catch Buitrago coming in because Buitrago would be jabbing and throwing the right hand, and he'd be kind of leaning down, giving up his height and his range, and being in perfect range for Neomchong to actually catch him. You know, with with a counter of the counter, basically. You know, again, similar to kind of what uh, Pacquiao frequently has done in the past. Um, Neomchong is a isn't doesn't necessarily have the same level of pop, the same level of knockout power, even though he's named knockout. Um, but he does have a very, very fast right hand. It, cut, it shoots out the barrel like, like nothing else. And he has very, very quick combinations. And in the past, he's scored knockouts primarily by just being able to catch guys by surprise. As opposed to be having like really, truly thudding power where he's hurting the guy with every shot. Although um, he was able to move Buitrago with a lot of the shots, um, it seemed like those shots were more of the grazing type. Um, but basically, Buitrago, he, I had him winning the first round and edging the second round. But pretty much from the second and into the third and all the way up until about the ninth, uh, Neomchong was, was um, handling his business. I mean, Buitrago was making several of the rounds close, but every time he would get success and he would land a good shot on Neomchong, Neomchong would come back and not necessarily out, land him in terms of a clean shot but he would overwhelm him with um with several shots and he would be landing grazing punches as well as a couple of clean ones in there and just that the way he was able to mix it up um kept Buitrago from being overly um aggressive in order to throw and Buitrago was taking his time a bit too much and also like I said before he was leaning in a little too much while he was taking his time throwing to pick and choose his shots however um it seemed like late around the 10th round Neom Chung started to tire a little bit and Buitrago started boxing and actually doing what he probably should have been doing, which was standing tall, shooting, you know, working behind his jab and taking little side steps um, to his right and also kind of backwards so that Neomchung would be kind of lunging in and Buitrago would be able to catch him as opposed to the other way around. Uh, in the 11th, Neomchung managed to get a little bit of success back. And then in the 12th, he pretty much just ran out the clock and Buitrago was landing some good shots. He landed a, a big kind of a right hooker cut type of uh, shot. It was like a hook slash uppercut that, that rocked uh, Neomchong back. Neomchong wasn't necessarily hurt, but he got rocked back enough that he he pretty much decided to just play defense pretty much the rest of the round, and he gave that one away. I wound up scoring at 8-4. to four. The judges actually had it 9-3 to three twice, 
and 11 to 1. Their first fight actually had a draw. And if I remember correctly, I believe all three judges had had it 7 to 5 for Knockout CP Freshmart. So, you know, it's a good win for Freshmart. Um, he's a. I'll make a video soon about him, like uh, kind of detailing him more in full uh, in terms of his career because he's actually a guy that's crossed over from Muay Thai kickboxing. He actually won the three major titles, all three of the major titles in Thailand for Muay Thai kickboxing, and then he's transitioned now over to boxing to try and become, you know, a world champion. Although, incidentally, um, when he beat Boitrago the first time, he became the interim WBA champion, and now I guess they converted that interim championship into a regular championship. I, I don't know if WBA is actually following through on their plan of unifying, quote-unquote, all of their titles in each of the divisions. Um, but if they do, I think you know, that's a really good shout. And i definitely like to see Knockout CP Freshmart against um, some of the other top top level fighters. You know, if, if he winds up fighting the full champion for the WBA, that would be Hecky Butler. And Hecky Butler is probably the the top fighter at mini flyweight, aka minimum weight right now. At 105 pounds, Hecky Butler is the class of the division. He's a slick, uh, orthodox fighter. He's very awkward. He moves in kind of a weird herky jerky manner that makes him really difficult to hit. And he, you know, he works well behind the jab. He throws a lot of jabs. He he's He's a little bit of a, a Willie Pep esque style, you know. He's he moves around a lot. He throw he works behind the jab. He'll throw the jab in the right hand, and then he'll grab you in case he misses. And he he really throws guys out of their rhythm. That's something that he's really able to do very well is um, take especially aggressive fighters out of their rhythm and and basically slow the fight down to a pace where he can dominate technically. Uh, but Freshmart versus Butler, I think, would be an excellent fight. Freshmart would be able to push the action, push Butler more to his limit in terms of skill set, and we'd be able to see how Freshmart deals with a guy that's a bit more of a defensive master. Although Buitrago, um, I give him a lot of credit for being very sound defensively. Uh, I'm not sure if he's necessarily on Butler's level defensively, and I would say he has better offense than Butler, but um, but he's he doesn't necessarily have the herky-jerky awkwardness, and it's a lot more difficult to time Butler than it is Buitrago. Buitrago, uh, for his... Worth. I mean, like, he, he did very good in this fight when he had his moments. I mean, especially late. It's like if he would have started a couple rounds earlier fighting tall the way he had been in the late rounds, he might have been able to, to pull off either a draw or a victory. Um, but it just didn't happen for him. Um, I hope to see Buitrago again in the near future, maybe against one of the other champions. Maybe they could take him back to Thailand and have him fight uh, Wanhang Manayotin. That'd be a good fight, or Jose Argumedo in Mexico. That'd be a good fight. Kosei Tanaka in Japan would be a good fight for him too. He's still definitely one of the the top ranking uh, contenders at 105. So uh, I'll link the full fight for this fight as well as their first fight, which was uh, uh, probably a little bit more of a barn burner, um, in the description box for this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.